If you got a check for two hundred thousand, stop down tomorrow because you still live in the house. Yeah. Okay. So you, so you, we're on the same page. All these options take care of what you want it to take care of. Because get your mother out paying the whole thing off. Okay. We may not be able to do that. The main goal here is just to protect your wife. Okay. And to make sure you die tomorrow, she's not out. You know, in the street with a for sale sign crying. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. So you see value in these options, even though they're not as much. Yes. Okay. Strictly on budget now, because I know the goal is coverage. I show them numbers. I say, which one of those makes more sense for you guys from a coverage standpoint and financial standpoint? I don't know, Christian. we got to think about it. Okay? Listen, I want you to think about it. There's two ways to think about this. One, man, I'm so glad we handled that and I don't have to worry about it again. Two, you're thinking about it, constantly worrying about it. Which one do you want to be? I want to be the one that handles it. Okay. So are you thinking about whether or not you want to protect Kim or are you thinking about which option? I'm thinking about which option. Okay. So we know the coverage is important, okay? We know these options are valuable. We know without them, Kim's going to be up a creek, right? Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Okay. So based just on budget now, okay? Which one of these is better? Because we can always go up. I like the 200000 Okay, so that fits in your budget. That's what's most important, okay? You get a flat tire three weeks from now and got to get your tires changed. We don't want you to have to drop this insurance, right? No, because that defeats the purpose. You can go up. You've got 90 days without having to requalify to go up in coverage, okay? So here's what I do for a lot of clients. You see, Noel talked about it. People like being included. So I say, here's what most people do. They start with the lower end. They get approved. They get their foot in the door. They got 90 days after a couple months. Some of them go up. Okay, most of them stay because they realize, hey, this will do what we need it to do. So if I can get you approved for the 200000 for the 190 bucks, that makes sense to you? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So like I said, I can't promise nothing. Okay, I'm going to do my best to help you. But we'll get started on this, okay? So let me see your driver's license. Perfect. All right, look at this guy. Think about this, what he's talking about. What he's talking about is what it's going to do for him. That 200000 she said, yeah, I was staying in the house. Yeah, I did. I was staying in the house by the 200000 And here's what that 200000 does for her. Remember, it's not what it is, it's what it does for her. It gives her the money to pay the mortgage payments, or it gives her the money to take and refi, take the 200000 put it towards the balance of the house, cut the payments in half, and make it affordable for her. You can take that money and go, here you go. I want to refi the house with $200,000. Drop that payment from $4,200 a month to $2,000 a month, and now I can afford it. So here's what it does for them. Right? So Christians give them money to go, here's what that can do for you. It, it's not the full payoff. It's, that doesn't fit my budget. Okay, let me get you a bucket of cash here. You get thanks for $200,000. You'll be able to stay in the house. Yes. Okay, you'd be able to put the money in the bank, pay the payments for a number of years, or you can take it and put it towards the balance of the house, because the balance can pay down likely, hopefully nothing happens anytime soon, refi it, and get that thing down so it's affordable for you, stay in the house, payments are good. Or you could just ask them and say, what would this 200000 do for you? What would you do with it? And then let yep. them tell you. And then they, yep. just, they were like, okay, this does make sense. Yep. Yeah. And, and if you've got them sitting there, that's a great question there. What would it do for you? They need to sit there going, would you put it in the bank and you pay the house payments? Or would you take it and go refi it and lower the payments down? Yeah, get people to use their imagination. Listen, people think in images, right? Not in words. So get be a master of words and a master of your communication and a master at asking questions and getting people to use their imagination to crystallize their thinking, right? Because when I say, okay, what would that 200000 do for you? She has to think. Now she's going to picture herself walking in the bank with 200000 putting it in the bank, being able to stay in the house. Yep. Well, I can put this in the bank, and I'll be able to stay in the house. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. That's it. Love it, man. Guys, that right there, I think that's, that's where we're struggling on a lot right there. Don't you agree, Marcia? I think it's right there going, how do I position this when they see the value? So what Christian did was, hey, listen, let's stop worrying about the full payoff. There's really no reason to do that. Number one, Especially if you say, I'm not going to stay in the house, then we don't need to have that conversation whatsoever. And if they go, well, I don't want to do it, I'll think it's the full payoff. That doesn't make sense. Because she doesn't want to stay in the house. She just needs enough money. There's no shit paying premium for the full payoff when there's no, what are you going to do? Take the money and send it to the bank and pay the house off and put it on the market and sell it, get the money right back? That doesn't make any sense at all. Right. So it's, we don't, that, that argument's out of the way. So it's now it's just how much time do you need? And let's get you some money to do that. And if you want to stay in the house, let's get you a chunk of money. We can look at 200, 300, 400,000. 
Could you stay in the house with either one of these? And which one? If so, yeah, I could. Which one do you like best? Which one fits your budget? Which one makes you feel best? 200000 What would you do with the 200000 I think that's a key question that Christian just said. Key. Because she may be, right now she doesn't see the value. She says, it's 200000 I don't see the value. What would you do with it? I could just put it in the bank and pay the payments. Perfect. So now she sees what she's going to do with it. Then the value is created for her. I'll have $200,000 in the bank. I can pay the payments. And here's what she's thinking. That may pay the payments for the next 10 years. In her mind, that's $200,000 to pay the payments. She's thinking that'll pay it for 100 years. That's a big chunk of money. Right? She's not, it's not conceptually connecting there. She's thinking that's a big chunk of money. Sure, I can do with that. That's a lot of money. So, again, I think this is key. I'm glad we're hitting on this right here because I think so often this is where we lose it. This is where we get the, I need to think about it. It's right here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Marsha, how about this one? Uh, I had an appointment for the following day that I had the book. Called and text the date to confirm with no response to the call.